What is going on guys? Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise. We are back again with another episode of Sackboy A Big Adventure. We are continuing doing the Colossal Canopy and this time we have a level called Going Bananas. This one is only three orbs to collect but it's one of those really annoying levels that it moves without you, um, you know, the level continuously moves and you just have to catch up. You can't really spend too much time collecting things uh, in one place. You just uh, have to keep moving. So if this is the first time you're here, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And without further ado, let's play some Sackboy, a big adventure. Right, like I said, this one is one of the ones that the, the level moves really quickly, so you need to be really quick in getting these orbs because they will just go by really quick and uh, really, really hard to get. Right, too much really going on. <laughs> right, so the first part, part in here... Uh, you get one of these guys, they're going to be all over the level. And at the end you get a boss, a level boss, uh, which is the Banana Bandit. And uh, um, that one is he, he's not very difficult anyway. Right, so let's go and pick up our first orb. So if you go up here, there's a screw on the top here. Just get that screw out and quickly go to the right. And uh, you get that glue underneath and you can glue to the sides. So now you can pick up your first orb. Uh, if you haven't got that glue, you won't be able to walk on the side panel, so uh, you won't be able to collect that one. So once you do that, just jump over to the other side, and you've got these guys here, again, uh, just going absolutely berserk. If you if they touch you uh, twice, that's it, you just lose the level, so it's not, it's not advisable to hang around too much. This is your second orb. And now we're going to go down here and collect a few more bits. These panels are the ones that disappear and then come back after a while. But you won't even have time for them to... Once they disappear, that's it. You won't have time to wait around to, uh, to for them to come back again because the level keeps moving. Uh, uh, another thing that you're going to need to be aware of is that... Uh, uh, you need to keep on getting this glue on your feet if, in order to collect the orbs because you won't be able to glue to the side. Uh, you see, like, you've got this thing in here. Now, I'm going to jump over these ones, but I could have easily gone over to the top and uh, not had to deal with them at all. Right, when we get in here, we just need to get into this little hole in here and get over to the other side. And on the other side, we go inside of this pipe, and then we come out at the top. Again, need to get the glue, and uh, this one was really, really annoying because um, it just went by too quick, and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't do it. I had to do it twice in order to to get this done. Right. So the thing you need to do is pick up the times two, go left in here, go up the top, and then go through the center here and collect your third and final orb. Now all you need to do is just get onto the right hand side, and just keep on going, being really aware that these guys are still going from side to side and you just need to be uh, aware of, of where they're going to come out from really really tough level and because you have to uh, keep moving is makes it so much harder but when you get down here you see there's orbs on both sides it's going to be very difficult for you to pick them up you know on both sides and get the the points i don't know how you possibly could do this Really, really tough stuff. Now you've got two of these guys in here before you finish the level, or should I say, before you go into the boss. And uh, once you get into this area, just get in and there is our boss. I'm gonna see what he has to say. Actually, he doesn't say anything. He's just, uh, just pounding on you. So you need to, whenever he pounds, just jump, because there's like a massive shockwave and um, from time to time he'll disappear and throw two of his minions or kids. I think look, they look like his kids. <laughs> it's just like a, a, a big guy, you know, like a big daddy. And then you will slam down and you just have to be aware of the, the shockwave. Just jump. As soon as he jumps, you just have to jump straight away and then just hit him as much as you can. That's how I managed to get this guy done. Then he will throw a few more. Uh, I think four this time. I think the first time was only three, and this time it's four. And you just have to be aware of them. And then as you see a big shadow, and as soon as you see that big shadow, you just have to just jump, so you won't get affected by the shockwave. I had to do this a couple of times as well, but eventually you will be able to get it. So I guess this is it for this video, guys. Very very short one. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, or if this video helped you, please give us a like. Consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. I'll be back again with some more Sackboy, a big adventure very, very soon. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.